Hi there. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to use uh, 3D Point Cloud labeling tool to label LiDAR data. Uh, and I will uh, cover um, the basics. Uh, the more advanced stuff will be covered in uh, another video. So, so let's start. Uh, and uh, here in my workspace, I have uh, several uh, projects that contain 3D Point Cloud uh, data. And uh, if you want to import your data, you just go to import page here. Uh, you should pick an appropriate import plugin. Uh, and for uh, LiDAR data, it's uh, PCD with labels. So you might uh, take a look at the description here because uh, it explains uh, how to structure the data before import. Or it might be another plugin, just PCD files. You just drag and drop here uh, the files uh, folder of files and uh, you get the import uh, completed. So let's go back uh, because I already have some data here. I don't need to import and uh, let's open uh, the project first and define uh, classes and tags. So classes are used to deal with spatial labeling. And uh, I will create two classes. The first one I will call car and uh, let me pick another color, say red. So that's my first class. Uh, and I mm, selected cuboid as uh, annotation shape. And uh, I will also create, say, bus. And also I might want to pick another color. Okay, I have created two classes and then uh, I might want to add uh, some additional attributes on top of uh, the objects uh, that I will label. Uh, so, and for that we have tags. Uh, so, uh, the first tag will be a, a, a standing. Uh, so, if I want to uh, to indicate that uh, a specific car or bus is standing, I might use this uh, tag for that. I might use tags to, 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 uh, to reflect some other properties that uh, a specific uh, instance uh, might have. So, uh, this tag will be applicable to objects only and to objects of these classes. Uh, and let me also create another tag. I will call it moving. And also um, this tag will be applicable to bus and cars. So we have created uh, spatial classes and tags. Now let's go and label some data. Here is how a uh, labeling interface for LiDAR data looks like. Uh, so we have a synth, 3D scene here and we have top, side, front views. We also have uh, annotation instruments, uh, cuboid, point, uh, semantic segmentation tool. Uh, so I will focus on cuboid uh, in uh, this video. Uh, on the right we have a list of uh, point clouds. Also, we have different parameters to play around and to adjust uh, uh, some behavior of uh, the tool. So, uh, so let's start uh, to label. And uh, I can pick, I, I will select cuboid first and then navigate towards uh, the object I want to label. And you can navigate here in a very similar way in which you navigate in 3D games. So, uh, let's label uh, this one. First, uh, so I will label this car. Yeah, so there is also an option to play with orientation of the scuba, but I will ignore that uh, for now. Uh, once uh, I have uh, this scuba uh, uh, tight enough, I press Control Space so that. Uh, a new object uh, uh, of class car uh, is created. Here is uh, uh, the object type here, so I can uh, label bus if I want. Uh, but uh, let's stick with car for now. Again, here is the second car. I will adjust in top view. Let's 
side view. Uh, and that's it. So uh, let's notice that we have uh, two cars labeled and each car has uh, different identifiers. Uh, one to three and one to four in this case. Uh, let me deselect uh, current object and maybe I want to take these cars and propagate this labeling labelings to the next uh, point cloud. So I just can press Ctrl C and you see this message that uh, uh, two objects are copied. Uh, now I have to paste this object. So I go to the next frame and uh, then just press Ctrl V uh, and uh, the annotations are passed. Uh, let's adjust them. So I will adjust the first car this way. Okay, it seems all is good. And I will adjust the second one. Yeah, it looks good. You see that these cars have uh, uh, the same identifier as uh, the cars from previous frames. Uh, that's because we want to uh, to know that we know to know the identity of the car across frames. So uh, if I say select a car here. Uh, I will see that uh, this car presents on uh, uh, the first point cloud and on the second point cloud. Uh, so it's a bit tricky here, a tricky notion of uh, objects and figures. So figure exists inside a single point cloud. So say this particular car with uh, the identifier of 1, 2, 4 uh, contains uh, two figures and these figures has also identifiers. So this is a way we keep track, uh, keep track of objects uh, across frames. Again, the same for another car uh, with identifier one, two, three. So it, it contains two figures. Uh, and as we will propagate annotations further and further, uh, each uh, car, uh, if it appears on multiple frames, uh, we will add more and more figures for this car. Let me also show how to add attributes uh, to the objects. So recall that we have created two tags and uh, we might use them. So if we select uh, uh, a car, uh, we see that uh, several tags uh, are applicable. So we might say that say uh, the selected object is say standing. And for that, I, uh, for that I need to attach tag to that object. So, uh, and you see that now we have uh, an attribute, a tag, that tells that uh, the car with identifier 1, 2, 3 is standing. And uh, we might, say, pick another car and maybe assign another attribute to that, say, moving. And again, we see that uh, this car with identifier 1, 2, 4 has this attribute. Once you have completed a labeling process, you might want to export the data. And in Supervisor it's quite easy. You just go to Project and uh, pick uh, Download as, uh, and you have two options, either just JSON file or J JSON plus uh, raw data. If you click on that, uh, a file will be generated available for download. You can download it in JSON format. And I think that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching.